The member for Fredericton Southern, leader of his party. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and uh, thanks to the Premier through you for his uh, statement concerning the situation at Manoir de la Vallée. Um, this, what's happened at the Manoir uh, de la Vallée is what everyone's been dreading, uh, Mr. Speaker, and we were hoping we had avoided it in this first wave, and that was that the virus would find its way into a long-term care home or a nursing home. And that's what's happened in Manoir de, de la Vallée in Ethelville, Mr. Speaker. Um, one of the things it's revealed for certain is that we need a much more robust plan to ensure that there's the necessary people power to staff uh, special care homes, long-term care homes, nursing homes when, um, when the virus finds its way uh, inside. Because as we've seen elsewhere, Mr. Speaker, in Canada and other places outside of our country, when this virus gets into a long-term care, care home, it spreads like a brush fire. It seems so hard to contain once it's inside. And what we've also seen is that it's very difficult to maintain the number of staff necessary to keep, uh, to maintain care for the residents. Uh, Mr. Speaker, and, and that's uh, also been the case in Manoir de la Vallée. People have to self-isolate or go into quarantine. Others, for various reasons in their own families, can't continue to work there. And so the staff complement drops, pushing the others to have to work uh, double shifts and more to the point of exhaustion and for uh, all of those involved to find other people to come in and supplement uh, their labor under very difficult situations where people are fearful because the virus is present uh, and, uh, and they're rushed off their feet trying to provide the care, level of care necessary for the residents, particularly when you're dealing with units like uh, the dementia wing at uh, Manoir de la Vallée. So, uh, Mr. Speaker, this is just one uh, long-term care home. If, if we had simultaneous infections in multiple long-term long -term care homes, we would be in a real um, in, in real difficulty in terms of ensuring sufficient staff uh, and labor is available to care for the residents. So, Mr. Speaker, this has taught us many things, but one of them certainly is we need to put in place a robust plan to ensure that we have a labor pool that's trained and ready to go uh, to enter into long-term care homes to help care for the residents when needed. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The member for Fredericton Grand Lake and leader of his party.